A couple weeks ago, GamesRadar published an article titled In Defense of Games That Aren't Fun. Having just read the article, I'd like to suggest a more fitting title. Tale of Tales made games that pushed boundaries, inspired you to think, to feel, to open your mind to the possibility of what digital entertainment can do or be. There are some options in Windows Media Player that would blow your mind. Playing them is often an uncomfortable experience because they're so outside of anything we typically think of as a video game. That sensation of discomfort you've described, it actually has a name. It's called buyer's remorse. The writer claims that Tale of Tales are important because they add ideas into the creative ecosystem. She writes, Every idea in gaming you currently enjoy was inspired by something else. And while sometimes that path is obvious, in many cases the spark seemed to come from thin air. Interesting. Where do you think Tale of Tales got the design idea for making the player wait patiently while the character does a chore? Maybe they played a lot of RuneScape. That would also explain the visuals in this shot. If we just keep relying on fun, we'll end up sinking into a morass of bland pop culture candy that all looks alike and makes us feel exactly what we're supposed to, when we're supposed to. What on earth is this person talking about? Sunset is like a social justice this family guy. The cartoon frantically throws references at you until you find something funny. Sunset does the same, but with the aim of making you think it's intelligent. Gone Home is a game by a different developer but is a clear influence on Sunset. That I would say, while not closely linked to too many other video games, is very, very similar to a website called Funny Junk. It's only 90s kids will get this. Please upvote the game. If you're worried about piles of pop culture trash, these are actually the games you need to be dissing. To tell you the truth though, I kind of agree with her, but from a different angle. The problem with fun isn't that people want games that are just fun, it's that we use the word fun too much when we actually tend to mean engaging. The writer goes on to advocate for more government funding for video game creation. They say, some exist here and there. In fact, such a fund was how Tale of Tales managed to subsist this long. But they're not large enough to really, truly foster this kind of creative experimentation. Look, straight up, I cannot think of anything Tale of Tales have done that has not been done before. To them, or to some people looking at their games, it may seem like experimentation. But really, and this happens in all kinds of art, when people say experimental, they mean, I want to do whatever I can to limit your ability to criticize me. I think funding like this will further remove the artistry from art. People in comfort just doing whatever they feel like on a whim do not grow sharp. Let's condense that down into one little point. These hipster devs do not have discipline. But we need to do something to keep developers like Tale of Tales in business, or else our medium will slowly, but surely, lose that flurry of inventiveness that's swirling around the thin, thin air. Developers like Tale of Tales? You mean pretentious pricks who can't manage money? Nah, they don't need to stay in business. Video games will not lose inventiveness. They'll only lose schmucks who have no fire. Serious creators cannot not create. And I think, because of things like gaming press, if there were a fun it would not go to the thousands of people who would do better than the darlings. These kinds of funds would only exist as welfare to hold up people's egos. If you really want to inspire creativity, I'd suggest that funds should go towards game jams. Funding people's long drawn out development is only going to give you a drudge. If you want sparks, that is how you will do it. And if one of them is hot enough, it'll start a fire all on its own, without the need for the press to push people into blindly worshipping devs. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.